Hey there, people! I'm your friend and neighborhood Let's Play but I want to welcome you back to Thibbleweed Park. So, one of you gave me the uh, suggestion that I should just keep on talking to everybody. And I mean everybody. Apparently there are clues in talking to people. So, not sure how I'm going to do this, but... Uh, Maybe I'm gonna talk with all of the characters first, see how that goes. Everybody's going to talk to each other, see what the plans they Don't have. Leave town. Although I have done the talking with everybody already, but... Hey, creepy clown. Why do you swear so much? Ah! Good answer. Good answer. I wish I could say it's been a pleasure. But I think what I should do is just get everybody everywhere and talk to all the uh, different characters that we still haven't met. Hello, safely first savings. Your money is in our. Or hands. rather, characters that they haven't met. What's with all the heavy breathing and moaning? I should wait until he's off the phone. How can I help, Madame? So let's see. Uh... What's your role here? I'm Mr. El Palo, the manager of Safely First Savings. I take care of all the day-to-day -day operations of the bank. May I ask why the feds are interested in my work all of a sudden? No. Oh. may not. Mm -hmm. Well, you can always ask, but they're not going to tell you. Did you hear about the murder? Of course. It's not every day a body shows up in Thimbleweed Park. Seems like the least of this town's problems. Although, bodies have turned up lately. Quite a bit. So, uh, it's becoming a natural and frequent occurrence in here, and something must be done about it. Bet you feel safer now Willie is locked up. I'm not sure that I do. Whatever his personal problems, Willie doesn't seem like a murderer to me. That's what everyone who knows them says about a killer. Maybe so, but I just don't think he did it. Willie did it. That stupid arrestron proved it. Yep. Say what you want, but it doesn't change the fact there is likely an innocent watch repairman sitting in a cell right now. That's very true. That is very true. Still, the evidence points to Willie, as we have uh, said many times already. How did you know I'm a fed? You mean aside from the terrible suit? It's not this that bad. This is a small town where everybody knows everybody else and their business. When a couple of strangers start snooping around, word travels fast. Looks like we got ourselves a regular Sherlock. And not really a Sherlock, it's more of a gossip of the thing, so, uh, a regular telltale. Probably a better word for it, I don't know. My badge could make your life difficult. Good. Excuse me, ma'am, are you threatening me? Possibly. I'm just saying if you aren't willing to cooperate with my investigations, let's say by withholding key information, I might have grounds to call in my buddies and investigate your records. And I'm sure they'll find something juicy. Madame, I don't like what you're implying and I welcome you to call in your goons. I'm clean as a whistle and you won't get around me with your scare tactics. Damn it. Well, uh, that didn't work. It was a good try though, Ray. A very good try, but... You wouldn't even have any goons around to call for. You're on your lonesome here. And besides, they're both fake. They're, they're not even feds. That key looks important. Can I borrow it? I'm sorry, I can't release the key. Not to anyone. It's the law. That's too bad, Mr. El Paulo. We will have to resort to other means. You know much about Chuck Edmund? Tell everything. He was a much-loved community figure and our bank's most loyal customer. Mr. Edmund will be sorely missed. He can't hear you six feet under, so don't kiss his ass for my benefit. Ouch. Have some respect for the dead, please, madame. Yeah, that was ouch. Why is the factory locked up so tight? In its current state, the factory is not safe to enter. Well, we Fire damage seen. rendered the building unstable, and I'm sure the Edmonds don't want any frivolous lawsuits. But aside from that, it is my understanding the factory still contains some valuable Pillotronics equipment. That's why we are holding the key until Mr. Edmund's final wishes are made clear at his will reading. I see. Well, we still need to get to that will reading. Goodbye, Mr. El Paulo. If you ever need savings or loan advice, feel free to drop by. 
Can we open up uh, an account in here so we can get that stupid toaster? Feels like I need to do that. Hmm. At least uh, I think I should do that. I don't know. So who else has not gone there to talk? I think that was the last one. But we interrupt our hostile takeover non-stop music with this imp what can I do for you, honey? How's business? What's that supposed to mean? It means how is your business going? Do you not understand English now or something? I don't have to answer these invasive questions. It's unconstitutional. You tell him, babe. Shut up, Dave. Ray was just asking a normal question. It's being it's called being polite. She's not questioning you for any crimes or anything. Man. She needs to loosen up a little bit there. Are you feeling okay? Apparently because not. Because right now, you sound like someone who's hiding something. Uh-huh. I'm not hiding anything. And I will not stand for an interrogation without a warrant. Yeah, we plead the fifth. Shut up, Dave. Sandy is a bitch. Why is she so bitchy? I mean, Dave saved your life. Why are you so... I mean, she was uh, just screaming her head off uh, throughout the whole Maniac Mansion, and now she's all, yeah, I'm I'm the tough girl here. Nobody give me give nobody give me no lip. I am never going to say that again. That just felt so wrong. You are acting really suspiciously right now. Why don't you just quit messing around and tell me what's going on? Uh huh. Or if not. We can take a trip downtown for some questioning. Mm -hmm. Nothing is going on. Why even back here? The murder case was closed, right? We just have a couple of loose ends to tie up on the admin side. Oh, well in that case, is there anything else I can get for you, hon? Oh, now you've loosened up somehow. <laughs> Do you know much about the Pillow Factory? The Pillow Factory? Not really, just that it's been closed since the fire. And it was kind of the reason our town used to be awesome. Shut up, Dave. Why can't he talk? Why not? Why aren't you letting him talk? He's got good and uh, good uh, intel and good input. Not intel, input. Just. I don't like her. <laughs> not anymore. I'd like to order some food. Sure. Everything is on the menu board. What do you want? Something that doesn't kill us. I'll have a hamburger. Sorry, honey. Those hot dogs are about to go bad, and I can't open a new package of hamburgers until they are all gone. I'd like to order some food. Sure. Everything is on the menu board. How about a pie? I'll have the pie. Sorry. Dave ate... See, Dave? I told those foreign... But we've seen the lot. It was... St Shut up. So, I'd let's like to sure. try to order another hot dog. I'll have a hot dog. Good choice, honey. We're trying to move him out. I got a feeling Beat every up, hun, while it's still hot. There's. <laughs> and the result is. Oh my! That is the worst hot dog I've ever eaten. I. Uh, well. Gotta go. Still got the flies over it. So. <laughs> still nasty. <sighs> Two to go. I feel better now. Good. How about next time we eat some real food? So now I need now I know what I need to do in there. Let's get everybody in there. Ransom, get the, get a hot dog. We need to you know you're not welcome in here, Ransom. Um Hey. <laughs> Hi, Dave. Hey, Ransom. Shut up, Dave. Just order your food and get lost. Let's see. Give me a greasy crap burger with extra heart attack, a rabbit food salad, theme by Perry Pie. But we'll take one of the disgusting hot dogs. I'll have one of those disgusting hot dogs. Knock yourself out with those hot dogs. 
We're trying to move them before... Well... Before they kill you. I hope you choke on it. No, no, no. This tastes like crap! And I oughta know. I, uh... How would you... Gotta go! What do you mean, you oughta know? <laughs> okay, that was... Hmm. <sighs> I feel better now. That was a bit too graphic. But then again, it's Ransom, of course. He's, he would be the more disgusting type. I'm sorry to do this to you. I need to get into the factory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm sorry I need to do this to you. Need to do it to everybody. So, um... Dolores? We interrupt our hostile takeover. Welcome back, Dolores. How's life being an important game developer? Could be a lot. It could be a lot better. I'm having an amazing time. It's good to have you back. I just uh, wanted to say, I know your uncle Chuck was kind of a dick. You're talking about me? Shut up, Dave. Look, writing you out of the will was a dick move, but I'm sure he was still proud. I'd like to think so. He just wasn't himself those last few years. His obsession with restarting the pillow factory. Long hours in his workshop and vanishing for days? Well, we know the reason anyway. you re read the journal. It's kind of funny that they, usually in adventure games, when they read journals and everything, though, the information that they have read, it doesn't stick in their mind. It doesn't, um, it doesn't uh, appear in the dialogue or anything. It's like they're just avoiding all the information they have already received. Until there is that one key moment when they... Oh, I read this in his journal! Suddenly I remember that I did that, like, five fucking hours ago or something. It's just, it's just weird. But... We have to do this, Dolores. I'm sorry. I'd like to order some food. Sure, everything's on the menu board. What do you want? <sighs> I'll have a hot dog. Good choice, honey. We're trying to move them out. Well, we have now moved all of them out. Eat up, hun, while it's still hot. Yeah. This hot dog is even worse than the food in the mucus phlegm lunchroom. And also your I, mu your uh, munching sound effects were... Gotta go. They were weird. Uh, and that's the kind of stuff that some ASMR people actually like. Somebody... Uh, somebody, uh... <sighs> I feel better now. What's the word? Masticating or something? Not masturbating. Masticating. That's that's the you eating food. Some people actually enjoy the sound of some people going. Oh. <sighs> so now that we got rid of the hot dogs. Welcome to the S and D diner. What can I do for you, Dolores? Can we? Uh, well. Do you have a thimbleberry pie? Sorry, there haven't been thimbleberries in Thimbleweed County for years. Your Uncle Chuck, I beg to differ. rest his soul, ate every last one of them. Be <laughs> he did like his thimbleberry pie. Well, we did get a thimbleberry pie. I guess the... Uh, I guess I could have gone here as well to make the pie. Other than the uh, tube-tastic place. I'd like to order some food. Sure, everything's on the menu board. What do you want? No hot dogs anymore, please. So... a salad. I'll have a salad. We're out of salad. Oh. I'd like to order some food. Sure, everything. Uh, cherry pie. I'll have the cherry pie. Sorry, some tall guy just ate the last slice with a cup of joe. Cherry pie with a cup of joe. Wouldn't he be wearing a black suit and a tie and look like... Uh, uh, he could could have looked like McLachlan? And he was uh, talking about uh, how the coffee was great, and it all seemed, seemed weird, talking about a town called Twin Peaks. I don't remember if he ate a cherry pie in that show. Like I said, I've never seen Twin Peaks, so all of my information only just comes from Easter eggs and trivia that I've read about the show. That's I'd all. I'd like to order some food. Sure, everything's on the menu board. What do you want? Apparently, we're gonna get that hamburger. I'm ready for that hamburger. All right, honey. Now that you helped us move those hot dogs, you can have a hamburger. Yay! Dave, burn one, take it through the garden, and pin a rose on it. Ready! Been saving one here in the grill pocket, just in case. Here you go, hon. That's a good-looking burger. Doesn't look as bad as the hot dog. 
but looks can be deceiving. That is true. Getting the hamburger wall is a bad thing, according to the AI. Those two up to Reyes, get to the corner right now. Reyes, 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 Reyes. Wait, that was Reyes. What? Now that I think about it, that actually might have been Reyes. What the hell? Because I cannot choose him. So what happened? They're not here. What is going on? I'm innocent! Sure. We got a confession. You're swinging, murder. <laughs> You're swinging, yeah. You were a watch repairman. Yep. The best thimbleweed I'd ever seen. Society's elites would come from all over the county get their fiddle plucked or their cogs cranked by old Willie. Never say Oops. those again. Yeah. Never say those things ever again. Because that's... That sounds... Wrong. How are you feeling, scumbag? How am I feeling? How am I feeling? I'm mad as hell, that's how I'm feeling. You agents locked me away when I did nothing wrong. Evidence says the otherwise, you know. You couldn't have been very good at your job. Well, I was a watching violin repairman to the stars. It's what My you say. clients were the creme de la creme of the county. You still say that. When Chuck Edmund blacklisted me, all my A-list clients dried up. Got to go, murder boy. Get bed. Well, she deserved that one. Still, what happened to Reyes? Where the hell are they? Where the hell is Reyes? Huh. Things are getting... Getting weird around here. All this because of a hamburger. Did he get a food poisoning because of the hot dogs? Is everybody going to die? Was well, he's not dead. He didn't seem dead, although it was the coroner and somebody else. <sighs> Great. Now we are gonna have to try and find Reyes. I'll leave that for the next uh, video. So thank you everybody for watching, hopefully you enjoyed, and I hope you all have a good evening, good afternoon, and the uh, green screen is uh, bleeding through, apparently. <laughs> Just saw it on the camera. But thank you for watching, I hope you have a good evening, good afternoon, good morning, and I will see you all next time. Take care, people. Bye.